So over my long number of years in this profession, I've had a number of roles. I worked in industry for a while. I was a developer. I worked in industrial research. But I also spent some time in academia teaching budding young minds. And I always struggled with ways to make some very difficult topics easy enough so they could understand what I was talking about, even though they hadn't had any real industrial experience. And a lot of things are difficult. We have a class, sometimes a whole class in something. And my main interest was in design. That's my, my PhD research was in design. So I wanted to spend a lot of time in it, regardless of the course. So I'm going to act out a little scenario about a way I handled teaching a very difficult design concept in my data structures class. This is my office. And I'm working very hard, waiting, uh, because I have an appointment with um, someone in my data structures class who's coming in to show me something about a program he's been working on. <coughs> Hi, Professor. Uh, hey, Chris. Hi, here's my code. I, I, uh, I guess you can't do, I can't, you can't guess what that does. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. I don't know what, what does it do? Wait a minute. Oh, that's better. Okay. <laughs> mm. No, no. What does it do? Um, it looks like you've been working hard on this. I can see that. Uh, maybe, uh, Let's see, what can I say? Wait, I know, uh, don't you have a younger sister? Sure, sure I do, Stephanie. She's, uh, she's actually taking a uh, programming class. Uh, she's learning how to program too. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think she's in my intro class. And I wonder, do you suppose Stephanie could read this? No, 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 oh. this, is, this is way too difficult, you know. I'm yeah. way too cool at programming, you know. This is, she wouldn't <laughs> be able to understand this, you know. Yeah, th this is hard stuff. Yeah. Yeah, um, I was just wondering, uh, let's, let's suppose that someday uh, you're out in the real world and you're writing real working code and, and Stephanie is already graduated and the company decides that they want to hire her as well. So you and Stephanie are both working at the same company and she is asked to maintain this code. I wonder, could she do that? <laughs> no, we know that Stephanie's really smart, right? I mean, I, I know you're smart, and this is a hard problem, but she's really smart, yeah? <laughs> and, and I hate to say this, but I'm smart too. And if I can't understand it, and it's not likely that Stephanie could understand it, what does that mean? How about this? Um, let's think about every time you write code to solve a problem, even a very difficult problem, that you're sending a message to all of the people who will ever read it, whether those people are your younger sister, or you know what, it might be you. It might be you in a couple of months who has to look at the code that you've written. And, and pretend for a moment that some other smart programmer comes along and looks at what you've written and would say, wow, wow, this is great. I understand exactly what's going on here. I, I understand this code. And not only that, I'm amazed at how elegant, how beautiful this code is. And I'm going to show everybody on my team, this is such a beautiful example it's a masterpiece. Do you suppose that you could take this wonderful solution and write it in such a way that it will be so beautiful that it will be just like a song? It will sing. I think anyone who could come up with this very difficult solution could also write something beautiful. Hey, maybe I should start grading on beauty. What do you think? Okay, I get your point. <laughs> I, th I think I'll, I'll go off and make the world a better place now. Thank you, Chris. <laughs>